everybody, man, and welcome back to my channel, So Cash Shape. So we're gonna get into another video here uh, for the month of Ginger's Garden. Uh, <clears throat> judging by the thumbnail, you can already see uh, what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be getting in with uh, Ginger's Garden uh, Spice Grenade. And this is her Glycerin Soap. What a fantastic scent this is. I don't have a matching aftershave balm or a splash, but I am gonna be using one of her bombs here that smells amazing. I don't know what it is about that bomb that I freaking love. So there is her soap. Um, it's all uh, twilight glycerin, glittery looking soap here. Um, hope I'm not gonna be looking one of the, like one of these twilight vampires. Um, <laughs> it's a bunch of crystallizations in here. Uh, so that is a soap there. Freaking amazing. What a fantastic scent that is. Uh, my aftershave of choice will be Fine Snake Bite. This is the bomb I am talking about. Ginger's Guardian uh, Old Dominion. This Dominion uh, smells freaking awesome. I, I can't explain how uh, fresh, clean, masculine, and uh, I don't. I, something I can compare this uh, clean soapiness scent to it like Mitchell's wolf fat um, and that's why I said it smells like something that I can compare um, use with it a slight slight I get like a slight powdery back note to it but ah, what a fantastic scent that's an awesome scent I know All right, so with that, we will be using the Gillette Fat Boy uh, today. Uh, I want to use this razor because I will be doing something in the near future, possibly next month, uh, maybe. Oh, I got water on my, I just got out the shower and uh, threw some water in the hair. Um, uh, and, and I'm doing like a, a retro nostalgia kind of old school uh, vintage uh, theme to it And I want to try this razor in with a vintage blade that was sent over from Ken Surfs um, So we'll be trying this out. Hopefully this is this is gonna do well. If not, uh, I will put the um, Gillette th uh, uh, thins that uh, Alex the Leon sent me and we shall see how that goes and my brush of choice will be my new uh, 1305 and I have been breaking and badgering the hell out of this thing in um, and look at that that is the new 1305 and to show you comparisons check that out pretty awesome now, which one looks like it's more broken into you? <laughs> which one do you think here is the uh, original and which is the old? So this is the old, this is the new. And the way you can tell is by the little chip. There you guys go. The chip in And now you can tell by the color of the bristles. This one here is broken in. This one is not. But the tips... This one's more broken in. This one seems like it can still use some catching up. So, judging by the way that this look, the color on this and the glistening and uh, shine on it, um, this tells me that it's not gonna hold the lather uh, as, as well as this one does now. Um, the lather kind of uh, dissipates, doesn't hold on to because uh, this, this now holds and contains water and lather. Um, so we shall see. I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking this one in and uh 
have a, a cup of hot water here on the side and it's only yay high to allow the tips to uh, um, start softening up. Um, give me a minute, I forgot my bowl, hold on. All right guys, got my bowl. And let's get to loading the razor. And I did label it here so I wouldn't forget the vintage uh, thin. It's got one shave on it, or kind of one shave. I shouldn't even put a number on there because uh, it, I couldn't get to the shave. Um, forgot what, I think I used it in the 34. But we shall see. Um, as of lately, I have noticed that razors do work differently with other blades traumatically uh yeah i didn't think it'd be that big of a difference which is why i've gotten back gone back to that um wilkinson all right so we will go on the mid setting uh there you go i forgot to show you the blade there and we're gonna go setting four and um i did get a comment um a while back that I wasn't I wasn't uh, opening this up to adjust the settings now you don't have to do this to adjust it okay all you got to do is take off the slack that's it okay there's a slack you can feel a difference when you're adjusting it versus when it's down and you adjust it there's a difference but as long as you take off the complete slack there you go the complete slack and adjust it it's just as exactly the same way as when you adjust it here. There's no difference. Uh, just so, just so, just so you know, um, I do know that you have to open them up. I just don't over, open them all the way. It's not necessary. Um, so there you go. Um, <clears throat> let's get into lathering here. I got my soap, my soap, my brush soaking here on the side, and let's see how we do. Now we're getting some suds. Just uh, gonna load the hell out of this brush. Like I said, it is a new brush, and everything that falls off the brush is gonna go right into my bowl. Now this um, this puck is a super hard puck. I'm just trying to uh, get it as pasty as possible, and uh, it is lathering. Just uh, getting everything down here on the bottom of my bowl over here. Yeah, because I already know if I uh, do a face lather, um, 
that I'm not going to have enough lather because of the knot. Now this is my first time trying her glycerin, so I don't know if a little goes a long way. I don't know if I've loaded enough. I am learning with you as I go. You can already see it's my first time trying it because it's the crystals on it or you can tell the difference between it being used and new. And uh, <clears throat> we shall go with that. Okay, that's the puck all rinsed out and the, you can see the crystals are gone. This scent smells freaking amazing and just got shit tons of lather, look at that. So we shall see now how this does. Not going to work too much in the bowl. I'll, I'll add up just a little bit of water. I'm not going to spend too much time in the bowl. Add some water. And to show you that I'm not lying, <laughs> here is the uh, bad 1305. There's a bump of the paint peeling off. Now I gave that a big dunk of water and I added a lot of water to it in the bowl as well. So it takes the water nicely. And forgive the fan noise in the background, I just got out the shower so it's, the steam is coming out the shower here on the side. Tastes good too. <laughs> So let's go with setting four. First pass with the grain. So how are you guys been doing? Hope you guys are doing good.
I myself am doing fantastic. So the day of this shave <coughs> is Saturday. <coughs> I got home Friday. I got home, or should I say, no, I got home Saturday around one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. So um, I was asleep for half the day because I was driving all night. So the slickness is great, nice slickness. Definitely nice slick slickness. Can't complain, no complaints here. So first pass went okay or uh, did well. I wasn't able to get that far last time with that blade. And next we'll either go up or go down. Now my technique to break me in a, a, a brush, a, ba or a bore brush was just uh, tail strop the shit out of the brush. And you guys can see the technique works. It took me 15 minutes to break that in versus all these people doing these um, I know people like to do the uh, soak in cold water or, or uh, lather up, and um, you can do that. But this works. This works really. Uh, I think it works faster, honestly. So uh, let's uh, go on setting. Oh, that wasn't even on setting four. That was on setting six. I'm sorry. That was on setting six. Uh, so we go down. Let's go up. I guess uh, we'll do setting nine. Since we were on a higher setting, I thought we were on a higher setting. I was about to say that doesn't feel like a setting four. It actually feels I can feel a blade more, but we'll see. The soap rinses off the brush, rinses off the razor easily too.
So the blade is doing good. So far, so good. No irritation to the soap. Definitely plus. Awesome. Let's get into the against the grain. We'll see if we have to go up or down. Okay. This one we're gonna have to go down. Okay, let's try setting four for this one. Hopefully we get it right this time. Alright. Setting four. That might be too mild. Hmm, maybe not. Wow, that feels really smooth. See how my skin gets fresh from stretching. Wow. That is impressive. Wow. Freaking awesome. Excuse me for having some water on. 
I'm just cleaning out what's left of my bowl. What's left of my brush. And then I'll do my cleanup passes off camera. And I'll be back. All right, guys. Gonna get in with the Allen stick. Did my warm water, cold water rinse off camera. And I actually went on setting five for my cleanups. And amazingly, amazingly, it did well. So I got a, I got a blade, a vintage blade that's gonna go well with my vintage razor. And hopefully I remember those settings. All right, let me rinse this off. I actually forgot to show you guys after I rinsed out the brush. There it is. All rinsed out. And again, there's a 1305. The old one, the new one. Nice. All right, let me uh, not rinse off. Let me dry off and everything. I'll be back. All right. Awesome, BBS, BBS, holy smokes. The scent is freaking amazing. So I just towel stropped my brush and there she is. I'm telling you guys, try this method out, freaking awesome. Now what I had told uh, Alex Leon, there you guys go, the difference. Um, I do five minute intervals. I do uh, 15, one, uh, five minutes in one direction on the towel. Uh, and, and, and also uh, try to get use your uh, roughest towel that you have. Uh, five minutes, one direction, five minutes, the other direction. And then five minutes cross up and down uh, sideways. And then uh, five minutes, um, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, I go, I go in circles, as I'm going in circles, I stop, rotate it, stop, and rotate it, stop, and rotate it, and as, I, as I'm doing that last five minute interval, tilt it sideways a little bit, like this. So you're gonna do, you're gonna do five minutes, the opposite direction, five minutes, sideways, not completely sideways, so if it's up and down, up and down, kind of at an angle sideways for five minutes, and then do the um, do it like this, but kind of at a tilt, just to allow all the bristles on the side to also break in. Um, and that's what I did. That's how I got them to break in that fast. Took like 15, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, five minute intervals, um, not too bad. So, versus having to wait so long uh, the other way. So, fine. <clears throat> Snake bite. But do, do your breaking, however you choose to do so, or however you see fit. It's always something, I tell you. Wow. Man. 
and dull. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to go in with Old Dominion from Ginger's Garden. Oh, that might be a, you know what, that might be a little too much, let me see, just in case, hold a little less, and if we need some more, we'll put some more, so there we go. Wow. Really, really digging that scent. Ah, oh, that smells freaking amazing. Now, I was going to use suede, but given uh, the having the uh, 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 body powder and the uh, shampoo or the uh, shower gel, um, I want to be able to use that on the road. So if I get the opportunity to do so, that's the one I'm going to be using for my old road shaves. What an awesome, awesome freaking shave. Super, super stoked. Okay, so let's get into it here. Recap, we went in with Ginger's Garden, and this is her vegan, no, I'm sorry, her glycerin-based soap, and it did phenomenally, just phenomenally, just wow. Um, wow, what a phenomenal soap, dude. Awesome, awesome scent. Um, we went in with our brush. I don't even know which one it is anymore. Uh, is it this one? Yes. We went in with our uh, 1305 Samog. That's breaking in really well now. Gonna set it off to the side here so they can uh, continue to dry. Uh, our razor of choice. We went with our um, with the Gillette Fat Boy. Um, damn, I don't remember the settings anymore. I was supposed to do setting four. And I did setting six, I think. Then we jumped from setting six to nine for the um, cross screen. Um, and third pass, I went on setting four. And then my finish and touch up passes off camera, setting five. And we went in with the vintage. It's capturing the my face there sorry it's the face autofocus um we went in with the gillette um super thin and these are the vintage that were sent over by ken surfs and the that package looks like this and let me see the vintage look like these and these are the newer ones i'm guessing it's what i've been told by several people so i'm just going based off of that um, my aftershave of choice was Fine Snake Bite, Aftershave Bomb, Ginger's Garden, Old Dominion. Super, super amazing scent. I love that scent. That is my shave, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I also did a bowl lather because of the uh, uh, brush being new. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for joining me. And if you guys like what you see, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Arena, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Alex Leon, I really do appreciate it. Tony Tony, I really do appreciate it. Uh, you guys have been awesome. Super stoked. So if you haven't had the chance, head on over to Ginger's Garden. Check out some stuff. Some of these scents that I've just been starting to use, um, I really do recommend them. And if you guys like what you see, like always, um, like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all stay safe for the later, guys.